Nvidia controls 92% of the global GPU market as of 2025 with AMD holding just 8% and Intel at 0. This near monopoly extends beyond hardware into software through CUDA, Nvidia's programming platform that has become the foundation of modern AI development. With over 30 million developers locked into Nvidia's ecosystem, Switching to competitors require rewriting vast amount of code and retraining entire engineering teams. In this video, we'll explore how China is mounting a comprehensive challenge to break Nvidia's stranglehold on AI hardware and maybe on software too. We will examine the US sanctions that triggered this technological race, analyze China's multi-pronged strategy to build domestic alternatives and evaluate whether these efforts can realistically end NVIDIA's monopoly. I'm also going to give you a very quick overview as which Chinese companies at the moment as we speak are trying to compete with NVIDIA and at which stage they are. So one of the biggest challenge for China or Chinese companies is to replace CUDA's two decade software advantage and I will be focusing there too because I think that is the most important piece of the puzzle. Because this CUDA thing, it creates what you know you can call as ecosystem lock-in. Major AI frameworks like PyTorch, TensorFlow, JAX, and various others are all optimized for CUDA. When breakthrough algorithms like flash attentions are developed, developed specifically for Nvidia, NVIDIA's architecture, competitors don't just need faster chips, they need to convince the entire AI community to rebuild their foundational codes. The October 2022 US export controls changed everything. What started as a small yard high fence strategy to restrict critical AI chip exports to China, it became an unintended catalyst for domestic innovation. The sanctions initially targeted NVIDIA's A100 and H100 chips, then expanded in 2023 to close loopholes and include components like high-end bandwidth memory. The blockade extended internationally, with the Netherlands restricting ASML's advanced lithography machines and Japan joining the effort. These controls effectively cut China off from the most advanced semiconductor manufacturing tools and AI chips. If you look at this table, this gives you the whole picture where we stand today. China's response represents a fundamental shift from hardware acquisition to ecosystem development. The domestic GPU manufacturers, many founded by former NVIDIA and AMD executives, have raised billions in fundings. For instance, if you look here, Moorthreads and MetaX both filed for massive IPOs in 2025 taking $1.65 billion combined despite burning through cash at remarkable rates due to intensive R&D spending. The advanced packaging strategy shows particular promise. Since Chinese foundries like SMIC are limited to older 7 nanometer processors and processes due to equipment restrictions, companies are using something called as chiplet architecture to combine multiple smaller chips with extreme precision. This approach, similar to building a high-performance engine from perfect smaller components rather than forging it from a single piece could help overcome manufacturing limitations. The software challenge remains the most significant hurdle. While Moore Threads has demonstrated CUDA, CUDA code compatibility, this likely requires translation layers that reduce performance and they are building it and building it day in and day out. Building native software ecosystem comparable to CUDA's two decade development will take some time, but I think they are gonna get there and it is not going to take a decade that I can assure you. <clears throat> now, the thing is that US sanctions have inadvertently uh, sort of created a protected market for Chinese GPU market. Major Chinese tech companies like Baidu, like Alibaba, Tencent have really become captive customers with no choice 
but to buy domestic alternatives and all of these coin models which we see uh, have been released in the last week or so and their quality is quite good they have been released amidst all of these sanctions and this forced adoption is accelerating the development of a parallel ai ecosystem within chinese borders this emerging ecosystem runs domestic hardware on domestic software stacks like huawei's mindspore and mood threats musa platform these systems train domestic ai models like ernie quen deepseek and the list goes on and on and on which power applications serving china's 1.4 billion users and let that sink in it's creating what could become a completely separate technological universe now independent testing at the moment and this i have gathered from various sources across the globe that suggest chinese alternatives still lag behind nvidia's offering and there is no doubt about it for example ascend uh, huawei's ascend 910c delivers roughly i would say 60% of an nvidia's h100 100 inference performance but falls further behind in the computationally demanding task of ai training other domestic options show even larger performance gaps as we speak today with memory bandwidth and processing power limitations clearly evident but this performance gap is driving innovation in efficiency chinese companies are moving away from the western scaling law approach of simply using more powerful hardware instead focusing on optimization techniques to maximize performance from available sources and that is that is what developing world has always done due to lack of resources due to lack of money does it matter if you go to for example countries like india pakistan bangladesh and some africa you know in these countries there is a specific specific word called as jugaad so i know that this is a very weird word for many western viewers but what this word primarily means is that when you don't have the exact resource when you don't have the exact funding you just come up with an innovative cheap often free way to get things through to get work done so i have no doubt in my mind that we are going to be very very surprised most of the world pleasantly surprised that china is going to come up with some jugaad maybe india would come up with some jugaad or any other country so stay tuned i think we are in for a very very interesting time ahead as we soldier through this nvidia's monopoly and words certain here is that the sanctions have transformed what was once a commercial competition into a geopolitical technology race with implications far beyond the semiconductor industry please also like the video and subscribe to the channel and i also want to thank our sponsors of the video who are agent which is the world's first multi agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks so please check out their link in video's description thank you for all the support